image, at the Golden Globes in January, Meryl Streep called out the soon-to-be President Donald Trump for inviting disrespect with his behavior, and added what a privilege it is be an actor. Just 12 months later, Meryl is encouraging her fellow actresses to wear black to the same awards ceremony in a protest at their treatment in Hollywood, following a year of explosive revelations. In October, a group of brave stars broke a wall of silence that had protected predatory movie producer Harvey Weinstein for three decades uncovering an endemic culture of sexual harassment in the entertainment industry. Hollywood A-listers including Angelina Jolie and Gwyneth Paltrow and British stars Kate Beckinsale and Cara Delevingne came forward to share their stories of his inappropriate behavior. It sparked the Me Too campaign, encouraging other women to speak out about their experiences of sexual abuse. The hashtag was used 12 million times in 24 hours, and the movement toppled powerful men in numerous industries. The revelations came just months after the BBC published its top earners' wages with a striking inequality between male and female stars. More than two-thirds of the top 96 earners were male. Claire Balding, Victoria Derbyshire and Emily Maitlis were among more than 40 stars to sign an open letter to Director General Tony Hall in a bid to close the 9.3% gender pay gap at the corporation. There was more upsetting showbiz news when Mel B and Stephen Belafonte split, with the former Spice Girl accusing her husband of domestic abuse. The divorce was finalized this month and a settlement was reached. Last month, TV's Davina McCall called time on her 17-year marriage to Matthew Robertson. Former footballer Jamie Redknapp and wife Louise confirmed in October they were living apart. Singer Kylie Minogue was unlucky in love again, breaking up with fiancé Joshua Sass in February and Bake Off's Paul Hollywood split a second time from wife Alex last month. Colleen Rooney defiantly said her wedding ring was back on after footballer husband Wayne was charged with drink driving behind the wheel of party girl Laura Simpson's car in September. The couple spent time apart, but pregnant Colleen vowed to try to make their marriage work. Wayne went on to do community service at a garden centre. During the summer, while the UK was glued to Love Island, Amir Khan and his wife Faryal Makhdoom hit another rocky patch in their stormy relationship. The boxer accused her of cheating on him with heavyweight champ Anthony Joshua, who quickly denied the claims. They reconciled before Amir signed up to appear on I'm a Celebrity. Get me out of here. And the pair are expecting their second child. Elsewhere, Baby Bear arrived to singer Cheryl and One Direction star Liam Payne in March, while actor George Clooney and wife Amal welcomed twins Ella and Alexander in June. In February, Madonna adopted Malawi twins Esther and Stella, four. Prince Harry announced his engagement to Meghan Markle last month, 
after she went as his date to the party for Pippa Middleton's wedding to hedge fund manager James Matthews in May. And we said goodbye to showbiz legends, including 89-year-old James Bond star Sir Roger Moore in May and Sir Bruce Forsyth, also 89, in August. We also lost iconic Corey star Liz Dawn, who played Vera Duckworth on The Cobbles for 34 years, in September at the age of 77 and this month TV presenter Keith Chegwin lost a secret battle with lung disease. He was 60. Singer Tom Petty died aged 66 after suffering a cardiac arrest in October just three months after he performed at the British Summertime Festival in London. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment your opinion, share this video and subscribe to my channel. New videos are uploaded every day.